Welcome to Analytics with Nax. I'm happy and excited to have another catch up with Nax session where I'm going to talk about Power BI reports of January 2022 release. For those who are new to the channel and also to the Power BI, those who are not aware what is Power BI reports over because every month there is a release, right? This is special because Power BI reports server is uh, different from Power BI reports or the Power BI desktop releases that happening every month. To understand it better, whatever you are working on right now in the cloud premises, like um, if you are deploying your reports in cloud, then you are following this path. Like you are creating your reports in Power BI desktop that is meant for cloud version. Then you deploy it in the cloud that is app.powerbi.com. Then you will connect using Power BI gateways to your data sources and on premise. Then you will access the reports. This is the flow you will follow. But there is another separate route for using this Power BI technology where the, some of the clients don't trust uh, the cloud technologies. They want their uh, data to be on premise or at either cost. So Microsoft has provided uh, the software as a Power BI report server, which is the on premise version of your Power BI service. So once you install this, most of the features you can use, some of the features are uh, not available, which is only meant for cloud. So the Power BI desktop also dedicated tool for on-premise one. So this is the separate route and the release that what happened now is Power BI report server January 2022. Basically, this Power BI report server is updated every three months, <clears throat> not every three months. Maybe I can say like three times in a year. So uh, unlike in Power BI desktop, the release cycle was every month, whereas in until the product got uh, more stable, then they will increase the uh, release cycle to three months or three months. But this Power BI report server is get released only three times in a year. So that's why I'm super excited because I'm a user of a Power BI report server as well. So let's try to understand what are the features it got released as part of this uh, January 2022. This page and bookmark navigators, this is uh, so special to me because while I'm using these features in the cloud version, I thought of uh, when it's going to happen. I really expected this will happen in the Jan. It happened now. So this page navigator and bookmark navigator. Because <laughs> there is nothing shocks like um, whatever we have released, in, I mean got released in the previous months will get amended and wh whichever is possible, most of the futures will be available as part of Power BI report server as well. So that is what we have received now, page navigators, bookmark navigators, formatting. You might have uh, aware like if you are following the updates of Power BI, these formats or options are updated uh, some months back, uh, two to three months back, right? So one of the uh, coolest feature is like uh, pie and uh, donut chart uh, rotation, where it is one of the uh, client asked me once and I said it's not possible but now I can say him like it is possible now maybe I will update that report as well so this is very super exciting for me let's let me uh, try to explore all these options a lot of formatting options available here fill text outline and grid layouts so uh, I hope uh, the power bi report server will also will look much better after this release as I said before, you can see from this um, Power BI report server blog or uh, page where this is the release and in 2021, you can see there are three times it got released Power BI report server September, May and Jan, only three times in a year. Same like this year. So it is like January 2022. The next release will be on May. So you need to wait until May uh, for getting all the updates that is available for your power bi cloud version will everything will get amended on may 2022 this is the drawback of a power bi report server you will not get the latest update immediately so there are pros and cons that is absolutely fine your data is secure until your data is secure no one bothers so it's up to you or your organization call whether to go for power bi cloud or power bi on premise that is based on a lot of other factors 
I hope uh, you like this video. If you like it, hit the thumbs up button and comment below for queries. And do remember that data is your asset.